Hot streak. Your next fire spell co this turn costs two less. Um, Preparation for hot fire spells only. Yeah, I mean it's it's really synergy dependent, but you know like elemental evocation was a broken card for this. So with the right synergy, this is a great card. Um, with the wrong synergy, it's a terrible card. So I'm gonna give it a, yeah. a I'm gonna give it a two with deck building potential because. I'm going to give it a one. I don't think the right synergy is there yet. I see, I, I see what they're trying to do. Yeah, so I, I, I'm, I like rating cards with the deck building potential. It means like the right deck could be really good, but just because I don't think it's there now, if like a whole bunch of fire spells or a broken fire combo could be really good. So anyways. First flame. Yeah, mm -hmm. Deal two damage to a minion, add a second flame to your hand. That seems kind of decent. I don't know. It does. Yeah. I'd give it a two. I just it's, use it. I think it's actually... Like, it's I would use this in Highlander yeah, Mage, you know? To, like, just use... I'm going to give it a three. Yeah. I think it's just really it's useful. two or three. Two were flexible. I think three is about right. So, uh, the and quest... My spell mage deck ended up only, like, yeah, and the quest spell mage deck, I ended up playing only one copy of this because I had to cut something. Mm -hmm. But I, I wanted to play two. I think it's very efficient. Okay, so Quest Sorcerer's Gambit. I feel like this only really... So you just run all these weird spells in your, you know, minion mage to get a powerful arcanist. Uh, yep. I'm still not sure how I feel about this. Um, you know, you have one less card that decreases the chance that you uh, draw your good cards. You hit flow. Um, yeah. Your flow, which is pretty much the deck is all built around. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm, I, I'm I really have skeptical. no idea if this is going to be good. Yeah, it I mean, great. It, it also could get the synergy later. Um, it so also I did could, the digging. Yeah, arcane very easy, uh -huh. very easy. If you want to play enough frost spells to complete this, you probably got to play two copies of Brain Freeze, Cone of Cold, and Ice Barrier. That's about yeah. all you got. Frost spells are so bad right now. It's Awful. it's. It's uh, I'm gonna give it a, a a one with deck building potential because if the right deck building cards come there, it could be good, you know. Yeah, it's like I kind of have. I think I'll give it a one as well, just because it's not in Pantry's flow. But I, 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 I want to give it a flow. yeah. It's it's a thing of let, let's say some. I could see some weird thing coming around where um, the right cards get there, or where there's some weird build around where this auto wins you the game. But I feel like it doesn't auto win you the game yet, you know. Um, yeah, the one thing that it kind of might allow you to do is lower your curve a little bit and drop the mask of Cthulhu's. But I don't know if that's ultimately worth it. Yeah. All right, uh, Celestial Ink. If you spend five mana spells, reduce the cost of your spell by five, lose one durability. I'm not sure about this because mana cheating good, but cards is bad. What? I don't know. It's a weird one. But like it looks also, awful yeah, to me. Yeah. Have you seen the expensive spells? Yeah, you're there's, right. Yeah. There's like if make it, an eight eight. You have if deep freeze, you have flame strike and mask. If it was like a mask of Cthulhu mm -hmm. where it shoot like one discounted on one card and one on another, you know, but it's one yeah. spell. So all right, I'm gonna give it a one. Um, yeah, same. It's gonna hit a little spell and you're gonna be sad. But I don't know. I can play this and then I can play two five mana spells. <laughs> yeah. Is it that? It could. So if there's a broken five mana spell, like what, well, what if there's blast. what if there's yeah a Pex's blast refreshing spring water oh but and then refreshing ooh yeah but then but, I have to have like the uh, it's just so awkward to do yeah you need those in your hand and you have to not hit a small spell but if you're playing refreshing spring water and Pex's blast you got small spells I'm gonna give it a one with deck building potential because it's too okay, cool I don't even like it I don't even think it is that yeah I don't know I don't know it's a uh, all right, uh, ignite. Deal two damage. Shuffle and ignite into your deck that deals more damage. Um, yep. Two to three to four to five, etc. Jade idol for this. Oh wow. Yep. Wow. I didn't even know about this card. Awesome. This is. Is this is this ridiculous? Um. That's well, it's good. I uh, one we can like. You can go early heavy draw. I, we just put one of these in. Forever. 
I, we, okay, we just put one of them in the deck, and then we auto win against priest. Well, depending on the priest, I mean they can put stuff on board, but yeah, it gives you a lot of gas for the late game if you can just burn through your deck. I would give it a three just because the first time you play ignite, it's two mana deal two, and that kind of sucks. Second time you play ignite, it's two mana deal three, which is fine. And then the third time you play it, it's quite good, and so on. But you gotta you gotta play this quite a bit before it really ramps up in power. I'm gonna give so it a four. A bit slower. Uh, yeah. I think this Level is broken. Three, but that's fun. Stops fatigue. It's a it's a two mana like literally no build like synergy needs necessary win condition. You know like it's it's ridiculous with the early yeah. uses like it's uh, okay. Okay. I mean there was occasionally that drew a deck that would just play like a jade idol and yeah just, just for fatigue idol. yeah, yeah. And then, exactly uh, okay battle cry your next fire spell has plus two damage. Just in general, not this turn. Oh, okay. Hmm. What fire spells are good? I don't even know. Um, well, we got the Ignite we just looked at. We got a new AoE that's tradable for four. We got the first flame card. Most of them aren't terribly impressive. You can play this and play, eh, this is so like awkward to use. Right? Like, I don't know. Yeah, it is. Quite awkward. Like flame strike, I'm doing five with five. Do I want to run? I'm gonna give this a one. I don't think I even use this in a fire deck. So yeah, I'm kind of on that same page. It, it's interesting. If it was just spell, it, I think if it was just spell, it would be good because I could use it with cram session and stuff. But like, yeah, yep. just the flexibility. And um, all right, fire sale, tradable, deal three damage to all minions. Um. I feel like this is this is really solid, like um, efficient. Yeah. You can get rid of it if you don't need it. You know, I think it's either I'd give a, three. It a solid three. Yeah, I think it's a three. It's it's uh. You just don't have to play the bad card of flame strike now. Yeah. So. Okay. Simple enough. All right, Sanctum Chandler. After you cast the fire spell, draw a spell. So like, this is auctioneer, but it doesn't actually work. But I guess you can, yeah. You you can do that weird thing where the only spells in your deck are like the the zero mana prep, the one mana first and second flame, and the ignite, and maybe just like have a turn where you power cycle those, and the rest of your deck are minions. I'm gonna give it a two with deck building potential. If if Blizzard prints like eighty fire spells, you know, yeah, this card will see wild. play. But yeah. And why don't you play two sorcerer's apprentices, this, and there's like an ignite, and you just kill the opponent. But that's not for standard. I think yeah. it's a one right now, but it could go up in the future. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to give it two with deck building potential. So. Sure thing. All right, cast the highest cost. Clumsy courier, cast the highest cost spell from your hand. Um... Mm -hmm. So you, you don't get to choose the target, right? Uh, but... You do not. This is kind of like the dragon thing, but you don't need a dragon. And um, so you right now... Are there 10 mana mage spells right now? Um, nope. It you can, can summon an 8-8, eight, eight, two deep, water deep elementals, deep freeze, freeze, yeah. Mass. Um, I, I got to give this a... I'm going to give it a, a 2. All right, I'm going to no. give it a 3 with deck building potential. Like, I don't think this is, um, I don't think that the synergy is there right now, it, it but I think equivalent power level cards have been played with this before with the right big spells. This could be good. I don't think it's actually going to be good this expansion, but I think this is a good card. So I will give it a one because it is a minion, but I think mage doesn't have this luxury. You can't play minions. You got to play encanters. Flo. Like I've said, like I would play that in Highlander point. mage last year, you know? So yeah, maybe. Um, I okay. understand the urge. All right, Greg Magnus Antonitis. If you cast a fire spell on each of your last three twos, cast three fireballs at random enemies. Um, ugh, these are so hard to use. Like doing three fire spells, timing it. These these cards are like these these things are so tough to do. You know, last three turns. Yeah. I got to plan three turns in advance. How how is my game so easy that I can plan three turns in advance? You know, 
Yeah, and it has that secondary issue of if you are forced to deviate from your plan, you're super punished. Yeah. Well, like, on turn you... seven, you gotta play that combustion, because if you don't, then this turns off, and you need it for eight. Yeah, what if they don't play minions to play around your combustion? Do I flame strike on an empty board so I can get three random fireballs? They, I telegraph that I'm gonna do that, and they just play some one ones, and I get wrecked, you know? like. Yeah, it, it does kill people sometimes, but... Yeah. I feel like you have to put too much work into it. I think uh, we won't see this card actually working until, like, uh, a meme streamer does it. Because it's just not going to... I'm going to give it a one, so... Yeah. I, I like that it can kill people. It might kill people. I could be wrong, but I'll stick to a one also. Okay. All right. Paladin. Blessed Goods. Discover a secret weapon or divine shield minion. Um, so... I see this having synergy with um, the quest, which is good, but yep. I don't see without the synergy. I, I would would I ever play this card? Like, um, yeah, no, probably not. See, discovering cool. a secret is terrible for one mana with like it's two mana paladin secret. And the divine shield deck that's probably going to be doing a bunch of hand buffing doesn't like this because it's a spell. Yeah, so I'm gonna go one with deck building potential. Spell. Because I think people are going to burn this, but I think this is a bad card overall. But, yeah. yeah. I'll give it a two just because of the possible quest paladin necessity of this. Oh, I'm not sure if that's a good deck. Yeah. Speaking right. of... Did we Prismatic miss the Jewel. No. Oh, sorry. Oh. Yeah, no, no, we didn't. We didn't. Just check. Okay. All right. Um... We've got Prismatic Jewel. Um, after a friendly minion loses Divine Shield, give minions plus one plus one. Give your uh, give minions in your hand plus one plus one. These are like Paladin has no card draw. I have these awkward Divine Shield minions. I can't play a one drop on one. This is just just garbage. I'm not even running this in my Divine Shield deck. That's how you know it's bad. You know, so. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a little higher on the card than that. I think it is very good in the Divine Shield deck, but I have no idea if that Divine Shield deck is any good at all. And this is, it's really good in the Mulligan. I'm not sure how much it falls off in the later stages. Yeah, I can't play it a one kind drop. It's kind of slow. Well, you could. You don't have to play one. Yeah. Uh, I think it's good have I, a lot of good one drops. I'm gonna give it a one. There's nothing you can do to convince me. Stick to a two. That's all good. Yeah. Um, rise to the occasion. Uh, play three different one card quiz. Life justice. Pave the way. Upgrade your hero power. Avenge the fallen. Uh, rest of your game has silver hands at plus two plus two. Um, what do you think? Uh, oh boy, I. I think we have the tools to build this kind of deck and get the quest to work consistently, but I have my doubts that it's going to be fast enough to come online to kill somebody before they outpace you. The tools yeah. are there to complete this, 100%. Yeah. And I'm not sure yeah. how fast, but then you have to start clicking your button a bunch and slowly grind them out. Yeah. They might just murder you. Um, I was playing a crappy, greedy tempo uh, deck in the theory craft and somebody else played this against me and it seemed decent um but they're running all these slow tempo cards so uh, i'm gonna give it a two because i think the potential is there but yeah, yeah I, kind of around that too. I, I expected to destroy it and it actually did really well like they they buffed these cards uh they did quite well with it um you you get the lights justice which is a little nice and uh, then once you get your upgraded hero power like so it's a thing of you can keep the tempo once they get it start going it's it's like just you get the upgraded hero power and you get some synergy with that. I think it could be quite good. So, there was one so. thing I was wondering when it comes to building this deck, which is whether you want to play like two copies of Aldor Attendant and two copies of Libram of Wisdom, and that's about it for the Librams. So, then you play one of the attendants, you get a one mana Libram. Oh, fancy. Yeah. That's, yeah, that also works with Penflinger, and that makes it super easy to complete. But 
also, you know, you're down a card in the mulligan. So finding that is not always super yeah. easy. It's, it's more making this work with the Paladin style of not running out of value. And then once you get it going, it kind of can win the game pretty well. The person I was playing against was running the two mana. Get, so they're plus one attack on your all your Paladins for the rest of the game. So you also yeah. use it with the five. So you, then you could... What if you get the in a long game, you can have like two mana, five, three divine shields every turn for two mana, which is a better Jaraxxus. So, yeah. um, you can also, yeah, the, the track seems pretty good. You can play the big room guy that draws you cards, tons of those. Mm -hmm. And if you're really crazy, well, I wouldn't do this. You could play Lady Prestor for the late, late game and make all your one cost minions into one cost dragons. That makes yeah. you something good. Yeah. Probably I just build like again two one makers, some venomous scorpids, some barov, the new quest card, and then just a bunch of little cheap stuff. Okay. Yeah, it, it seems okay, but it might be too slow. Yeah, it's it's um, if the meta, I think the right meta, it's this card is less, you know, if the meta is not that, because there's a lot of I think really good defensive tools in this this expansion, um, so it's a thing of. If um, if the meta makes it work, um, like if you have a slow meta, like this this could destroy like a a, a value deck, you know, because it just yes. every turn yes, like can. absolutely destroy it. So yeah, okay. I'm interested. All right, next card we got city tax. Deal one damage to all enemy minions. Um, life steal tradable. <laughs> This is an interesting one where, like, I feel like it doesn't work in Paladin, it's but a it's a good, good card. card. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, so I don't know. You play just... with Arrow or Quality, which yeah. is good, but then what? But I think I don't like worrying about all the synergies and making it work. I just think this is a good card, so I'm going to give it a three. Um... All right. I will give it a two because the class it happens to be in. But yeah. I do think it's a very good card. You put it elsewhere, a lot of decks would be very happy to yeah. have this. So, all right. Um, Noble Mount, give a minion plus one, plus one, and Divine Shield. When it's, it's five, so on a Warhouse, does it say the Warhorse? Yeah, it's it the one-one like... Divine Shield. Oh, it doesn't okay. have the token. Okay. It's just another mount. Uh, I'm giving this a one. Yeah, I think it's a one, too. Um... There was wait. There were cards like this before that gave like a minion divine shield. Cause this kind of works like the uh, they give a card immune, but um, but the immune card seemed better to me. Paladin, there's also the uh, righteous protector, two mana three two battle cry, give a friendly minion divine shield. Yeah. So yeah, that seems better than that or the, the divine. I I'd rather have the immediate tempo for that, but I don't get the yeah. It's the same amount of Probably. stats. It's a weird one. It's like it's good with that prismatic jewel kit, divine shield, hand buff deck, maybe. But even still, it's slow there because you got to bump the shield off, then the minion has to die, then you get the horse, then you have to bump the divine shield off to get the buff again. Yeah. It, just, it takes too long. All right, alliance banner man, draw a minion, give your give minions in your hand plus one plus one. This is a weird one because in theory it's absolutely insane, right? Like yeah, like, I'm going just, four on it personally. It's just yeah, it's it's weird to. Yeah, it's um, just draw a card for three mana, develop tempo, give your whole hand buff. Like yeah, you play you play smugglers, you draw and play a smugglers run and a minion, and you get a two two. Like I could just see you running this in a deck. It doesn't make sense to run this because it's just like oh, I'm just gonna buff whatever. Any any deck that runs yeah. minions, any tempo paladin would run this card, right? Like so. Yeah, it's just paladin card draw. <laughs> so yeah, I'll give it a four. Yeah, I agree. All right, four seems good. It gets goes in like every paladin. Mm -hmm. Catacomb guard, uh, um, battle cry deal damage equal to this minion's attack to an enemy minion. Um, yep. So it's hand buff uh, paladin. Let's go turn the buff synergy. It's life steal. It's a two five. If you get one buff on it, it, it looks really good. Um, it does. Yeah. All right, I'll give it a three. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I, it needs all good three sounds good to me yeah it just seems like simply yeah. fine so we got lightbringer's hammer uh life steel can't detect heroes so if control paladin is a thing this is a good card right like it's it just uh -huh. but 
it's just kind of like you can. I hate that I can't go face. Yeah. It's hard. I hate to... that I can't go face. I'll, I'll give it a. I'll give it a two with deck building potential. Um... All right. I'm, I'm on a one for this. I just don't think it'll go anywhere. All right. Um, first blade of worm gain four attack. Divine shield if it has at least four attack. Um, yep. Mm. Rush if it has four attack and always divine shield. Yeah. Again for the divine shield hand buff deck. Um, I'm gonna give it a two with the two. Um, okay. I think I'm the, it a three. Uh... I have a slightly higher mm. belief in this deck. I'm not if it's gonna be good, but. All right. It looks like that stupid paladin just play on curve style. Alright, divine shield. After okay, after a friendly minion loses divine shield, give a minion in your hand plus five plus five. So you can use this kind of as that old guy that, even though it's not as reliable because it's not a battle cry. Um, no, you can't have something with divine shield already on the board. Play it, bump that yeah. off, and buff the hand, and then this can buff it again before it dies. Yeah. So you get it on the the one three mana one four, and then you deal six and heal six. Um, yep. Or something with Russian divine shield, just something big. Wait, is 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 Boar still a card? Uh, nope. Boar is <laughs> no longer a card. Are, are there any neutral charges? There are no neutral charges, mm -hmm. right? Not that uh, I'm aware of. I'm trying to think if is there any like thing you get buffed and you have like some ridiculously overpowered thing. Uh, I don't think for Paladin. I'm gonna I give mean, it you can a land two. it on a Samurai. That's oh Samurai. Ah, yeah, uh, it's a uh, uh, I'll give it a two. I don't know. I'm just gonna go with my gut here. What's your gut say? Two. These two. clunky cards two. just uh, they're hard to make actually work. They they look cool. And then they, they're just uh -huh. too clunky. Like, these cards are usually overvalued, so... All right. I'll go bold on it. I'll say three. Okay. But we'll see. All right. We're done with uh, the Paladin. We're on to Priest. Uh -huh. Call to the other grave. Discover Death Rattle minion. If you have enough mana to play it, triggers Death Rattle. I feel like this is really good. Um, like... I think it's not that good, but it will be played. Because it says the word Shadow on it. Yeah. Shadow Priest needs these types of spells. Because you can't play Draconic Studies. But the fact you can you can play it later and get a free death rattle, like, you know? Yeah. Um, you can also play it later and get a bunch of low cost nothing, but. Yeah. I guess, oh, I guess it's not. I'm for some reason I was thinking it's a. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's a. Uh, yeah. So we're going to. I'll give it to it. it's, it's, it it's a necessity pick. I don't think it's a good card. All right. That's seek, not a great. seek guidance. Play a two, three, four cost card. Then you get um, discover card in your deck. Quest land for five. Quest six card. Discover card deck. Seven, eight. Words is all the sanctified. Um, shuffle, purify the shard in your deck, and then uh, then you destroy the enemy hero. So, I would think this deck card is unplayable. But priest mirrors exist, so yep. if I, I'm gonna give it a two, I don't want to give it a one, but like I'm right there with you. But I know it's like I think it's better than Cthulhu, and um, so yeah, it's Cthulhu a sees slightly play. faster, more reliable Cthulhu. And Cthulhu sees play, even though I know Cthulhu is never true, usually not actually that good. It's usually overvalued because people. I think this card is going to see a ton of play because people love these kind of cards, it, you know? Yeah, it's a tech card, but it will see some play. Yeah. All right. Um, tradable silence all enemy minions. So it's like mass the spell, uh, but tradable. Yeah. A lot of people were losing their mind about this card. Doesn't look very good to me. Yeah, mass this. I don't know. It's. Um... It's. I don't think you ever put this in your deck. 
Yeah, it might be. I don't know. It's it's. You make it. You make it sometimes, but it's not in your deck. Yeah. Like, what what mean, are we it, silencing? It's nice. I think it's uh nice that you know priest has a, a silence again. So I'm gonna give it a two. Um, I don't think it's I'm anything crazy. Fat one on it. I think. I don't the think right, this goes in any priest decks on purpose. I I, I think if uh you know people have run the zero mana. Silence for priests. So I think if there's a, a if there's a um, silence meta, it's it's good. So well, we already have the uh, what do you call it? The legendary, the four four for four, which has been fringy playable. Mm -hmm. Okay. But this card seems worse than that. So oh, we got boy touch, exciting. boy touch attendant. Um, both heroes take one extra damage from all sources, so this is trying to make aggression for priest work. I don't know. It's, uh -huh. It is a one mana card. I, I have a hard time believing in this card. Um, I have an incredibly hard time believing in this card. I, I don't think Shadow Priest is aggressive. I think it is just another Control Priest deck. Yeah. That's what I was trying to build a deck with it, with Shadow Priest, and I concluded i think shadow priest doesn't work but um but yeah i think this is um i i i want to say one but i'll give it a two so i want to say one and i'll also say one okay all right shadow cloth needle after you cast a shadow spell deal one damage to all enemies lose one durability i think this is bad i'm gonna give it a one I'm just i'm gonna give it a two because it goes in the shadow priest deck and it hits face, whatever that's worth. I tr oh, I you're not a... really going to be cranking out tons of shadow spells. It's like a kind of a mini-ish risky skipper. Okay. Time. Twilight Deceptor. Any hero took damage this turn and draw a shadow spell. Um, I think this is kind of like similar to the power level of the the two three. Um. For uh. Yeah, so that's all play. You don't even like you could do that, but you could just have minions on board and play this. So I think it's a two. Um, I'm gonna go for a one personally. I think Priest will be discovering. I don't think he cares about yeah. shadow spells with a condition. I think Shadow Priest would want to play that uh, the one four for two that discovers something that didn't start in your deck. Yeah, so and then um, Siphoned when you cast a shadow spell, deal two damage to the enemy hero. I don't know. I, I guess you can combo this off with a bunch. You could try. I think all these are so bad. No, not that many. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to give ones to all the priest cards. Just like, except, right. except for this next one. Void Shard. Deal four damage. Can go face. Life steal. Uh, this seems decent. Um, I'll give it a two. Yeah, I'll give it a two. This card kind of existed before. It was Tidal Surge. Oh, yeah. 4-4 four, four mana, which was bad. But, um, you know, Shadow Spell. Shadow Priest, you play it. Alright, and then Dark Benedict, Benedictus. Uh, um, I want to give this a... Uh, it just, like, here's the problem. is like, Priest still doesn't have the tools to be aggressive. Odd Mage wasn't even that good. So it's a thing of, like, this just isn't... You know, having the damage here power isn't even necessarily always better than heal, because healing is valuable, you know? Like, there is a benefit to that, you know? So It can be. But developing um, early minions against this thing. Like, Priest goes first, whatever. Turn one, they pass. You're Face Hunter. Turn one, you play Intrepid Initiate. Oops, they Yeah, play. yeah. You don't have to heal if you don't take damage. All right, I'll give I'm it a three. I'm four on this. I'm, I'm happy to be wrong, but this effect is potentially spooky, and I think it's like Control Priest will play this, and they'll play all the standard Discover stuff, and... I think the deal two is better than heal two for a hero power. Yeah. Okay. It's um. Yeah. It's a weird one. I guess what's weird about it is like. There, there's no. I don't know. I'm. I'm gonna go with two. I still don't think it's that good. Um. It just doesn't. It's. It's. It's just a thing of like. Playing when priest doesn't run out of value and hero powers, are typically. Uh, Worse, so uh, 
I, I tried this deck on the Theorycraft stream, so that's why I'm biased. Uh -huh. I have that's some inside information. Um, I'd be quite happy for it to suck. Okay, I think it's going to suck. I bought. So, uh, Elec Mount. Give a minion plus four, plus seven, and taunt. When it dies, summon an Elec. Um, it's like Spike Rich Seed, which was a good card. Uh -huh. So, it maybe this is... this. I mean, this is better at sticking a board. Yeah, uh, this is super, like... I don't know how to make this work, but in theory, like, you know, I play this on a minion, it's it's so hard to deal with a tech that doesn't have, like, a good silence effect, so uh, the, the stats are there, you know? Um, the stats are there, I just don't think it's four priests, I, I think it's a one in priest. Give it I'm to a different class, maybe, I'm not sure which class, right, but saying, oh, you, you use it in a miracle priest, and you <laughs> get this vastly discounted. I'm gonna give it a two. Uh, I actually, I'm gonna give it a three. I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to make it. It looks, you know, it looks too cool. So.